Hey guys, Brooke Whipple here. Welcome to my channel. I'm all about inspiring you to get outside and get happy. And today, it's the day we've all been waiting for. The inside of the cabin is finally finished. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my husband Dave and I built this cabin last month. It took us about eight days to get the shell up. And after that, he said, it's all you, babe. So it's been all me. So sorry for the delay, but I'm kind of slow. I'm kind of a perfectionist. The wolf is here too. Hi, wolf. Hi, wolf. I also got the fire pit in and the outhouse in, but come on in and take a look. Come on. Come on in. I must say this cabin project has been an absolute delight. If not just a little bit stressful. <laughs> it's been a lot of work and I'm going to take you through the process of getting this place finished, which has been, at least for me, the inside, a, a big job. You know, I've got a lot of experience helping Dave with cabin builds and house builds, but this one in particular was like, hey babe, it's all yours on the inside. So he literally walked away when this thing was to the inside portion. So I've had a lot of fun doing everything I've absolutely wanted to do on the inside. And, uh, really wanted to create a space that was absolutely inspiring. Somewhere where you'd want to come in, it was just wooden, glow with candles and, and just little touches that are just gonna, you know, I look around and this stuff just makes me happy. So that's what this cabin was. This is supposed to be an inspirational place, a little writer's retreat, a little haven for reading and creativity and just relaxing. And I think we really, we really nailed it. <laughs> so here's how it all went down. And don't worry, I'm gonna give you the full tour here before we're done. Just to give you some perspective, we started this project the second week of November and right now you're seeing me painting in December. It had amazing weather. Very unusual for this place, northern lower Michigan. <laughs> and I'm still trying to get stuff done before big snow. This is the Alpine Camp Chef heavy duty cylinder stove. It doesn't take much. I like the idea too that if it doesn't work out, I can always put it in a wall tent, so it's perfect. Here I am bringing in some insulation and finishing up a few outdoor projects before it gets too cold. Now when you buy a new stove, you really want to take it outside and burn off all the new paint that comes with it. It's a nasty smell and you really want that burnt off. The other thing I'm doing is cleaning up the job site. I want all the scrap wood put away. I need a spot to put all my firewood and I just want it to look clean and tidy before winter. Coming over here to get warm and you can see the smoke now and it stinks. Tell you what, my gloves have seen better days. I keep putting uh, duct tape on the holes. I just keep getting more holes. I got a new one in my thumb. And that finger. They're gonna be all covered with duct tape soon. <laughs> this crate's gonna hold all that scrap wood which is gonna burn real good in the stove. Getting all that cleaned up just makes me really happy. Here I'm grabbing some big boulders from an old farm foundation so I can make a fire pit. It, we've had like four inches of snow. It's all gone again. We got rain. It's like 45 today. Crazy awesome. So I'm going to try to pull off a couple more outdoor projects before I get started on the inside. I'm going to put a fire pit right here and I'm going to dig an outhouse hole. That's very important. This here's the coolest rock. Look at it. They get a little stripe in it. It's gonna be super awesome to have a fire pit up here too. I mean, I, I love fires. I'm gonna have a wood stove in there, but still, you need a freaking fire pit. You just sit outside, stare at the flames, cook a steak. It's gonna happen right here, right there. Yeah. See it now. This is good. 
Now the other thing I brought up today, oh yeah, digging the outhouse hole. I could get started, but I need a break right now. I brought up a bird feeder. So I got a, got a shepherd's hook here. So the squirrels don't get into it. I think I'm just gonna tuck it in under here. feeder but I think it's too short okay this thing is so short I mean come on we <laughs> need much taller <laughs> much taller shepherd's hook just cannot wait to get the inside done I've worked so hard we've worked so hard and I can't wait to enjoy this <laughs> so from the cabin there's the new fire pit. That's so beautiful. Oh my. It's gonna be great to have a campfire there. Just gorgeous evening. Yeah. It turned out really good. Now I need to figure out where to dig an outhouse hole. Just gotta find a good spot. Right here. Just straight sand. I have hit not one weed, not one root. Pure sand. That's about as good as you can hope for. Oh, I think we about got it. Let me show you the hole. Ooh, that's almost, that's probably three and a half feet, maybe four. Sweet. Put a box toilet over that and a little tent will be good. Okay, cool. That is going to be a wrap for me today. Got a lot done. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for this weather. It's fantastic. Cannot believe it's hanging on this long. Got a fire pit and outhouse hole dog. Yes. The outhouse is installed. All I need is my box toilet yet, so that'll be the thing that goes in. Temporary place to go, pretty important. Now that I got my outside stuff done, it's back indoors for the nasty job of insulation. Uh, yuck, it's no fun, but it's gotta get done. last piece I am literally out of insulation I just have scraps and I've made it stretch I got the whole thing done I don't need to buy another another roll so last piece of insulation this tiny little piece Yoo I'm gonna clean up and then I'll show you guys what it looks like oh oh it's nice to be done with that insulation it's nasty stuff. If you're in construction, you know that keeping your work site clean just helps you be more productive and efficient. And cleaning every day, cleaning up, just helps you get on to the next thing. Oh, so, it is all insulated. This here, I've got already cut, but um, I need to put in a nailer there tomorrow. I'm out of two by four, so I need one more two by four. But otherwise, it's insulated. What a day nice. so far. This wasted my day so much today. We got this tongue and groove. I got a whole truckload ready to do the two walls and the ceiling. And I got it here and I got the wrong size. I got 10 footers. Oh my gosh. I'd load it all back up, take it back, get there. And they don't have like, but a few 12 footers. So here I am with what they have. I got the only 15 in the area that I can find. My only other option is an hour away. So here's what I'm up against. We have 10 inches of snow in the forecast day after tomorrow. Well, starting tomorrow night. All I have is what's left of today, which is about an hour and a half. And 
tomorrow to source the rest of the wood I need, get it up here. Because after that, I'm not going to be able to drive up here. Oh, really under the gun. I mean, what can I expect? This has been an amazing fall. It's got to end. I mean, it is definitely winter. December 10th today, I think. It's crazy late for this beautiful weather. So, we're just going to get to work. It's going to look amazing. So, I got the generator up here. I've got the air compressor. Got the brad nailer. These are going to go up super quick. What I got to do first is cut them a little bit and then put them up. Look on my face right there said, I probably turned the camera off so I could say a little swear word. A bad bow in it or what? Nothing fits it. It's gotta go. Dude, I was about to lose my brain. It's just that one bad board. This one looks like crap too. All bowed. Look at that. It sucks. Well, luckily, the front wall here's sides are gonna need to be pieced together, so it's not all a loss. Alright, these are the last three I have. Let's see if any of these work. I haven't had much luck today, really. Had a lot of junk. This one this one doesn't look good either. They have been a struggle. Hey, this one looks flat. It's a miracle. Let's see if it goes in. You cannot bang a board flat, that's for sure. Oh, frustrating. Frustrating, frustrating. Been much more frustrating than I thought it would be. Oh. Look, look, see what I'm talking about. See how the end is good? Middle sucks. And the end is in. So you get these one after another after another. And like, what am I supposed to do with this? Oh, can't be I cannot beat it into submission. You know, you can't make that work. I'm so frustrated right now. Way too bowed. This one looks the same. So all these pieces that don't work, I can still use them for the pieces I need to cut short and they'll probably be fine that way. But when you're trying to span 12 feet and make sure there's not one bow in the board, it's not working out. I got a massive, I got, I don't know, six or seven boards here total that are so bowed, I can't make them work. That's like 80 bucks, you know? Just gonna clean up the site and call it. You know what I could do? I could put my trim up. I gotta trim out that door yet. That'd make me feel like I got something accomplished. All right, let's go cut that on the skill saw. No! Don't bend! I'll show you when it's done. It's too dark, guys. 
I'll show you tomorrow. Okay, there it is. I'm back. Got too dark last night, and I had screwed up the trim too, so I had to redo it. Red on the door really sets it off. I love it. Okay, you know, yesterday I had the most frustrating day all, all across the board. New day today, whoop, wipe the slate clean. I went an hour, the only place I could find eight inch, 12 foot tongue and groove, hour away. So I was on the road at 6.30 this morning. I've got it back now, I'm gonna unload it, get it, get it going. Hopefully get a bunch more done today. For real, winter is arriving tonight. Forecast is like five to 10 inches of snow. So, uh, I've got a lot to wrap up here today to prepare for that. And uh, yeah, just need to get working. This next load of tongue and groove that I got was good stuff. Such better material than the first few boards I got. It made installation this time around so much more enjoyable. Things went really quickly and I wasn't, I didn't have that frustrating day like the day before. The only hard part of this is, is I went up the ceiling, it got taller and taller and it got really hard for me to deal with. I was sweating, but I got it done and Dave only had to help me with one final board. We've changed seasons pretty dramatically. It was a long time coming, it was no surprise. So I'm back to get back to work on the tongue and groove and feed the birds. And check this out, there's turkeys in the field today. You see a big flock down there. There's probably 40 birds. I've gotta feed these birds. They're looking pretty skinny. I keep my under here in a garbage tin. Some suet. There we go. Now I get to work. It's just pretty. It's just pretty. It smells so good too. All right, this is gonna go quick with these short pieces. Just have two more boards, one on the ceiling, one on the top. Top one I need to cut. The other one, I just need help. But that looks good. So that's done. Oh, it'll be nice to have the wall coverings done. I think I'm done for today. It's gonna be dark in about a half an hour. I'm chilly, need to clean up. Back at it today, guys. It's a beautiful snowy day and I uh, wanna get a lot done. I have already got started. Just cut this panel generator out but uh making progress I'm gonna get this piece up right now you can see I've been working on the beadboard here it's just a lot of cuts to make it fall on the studs and I'm a hillbilly carpenter so it's slow work and it's not very pretty <laughs> but I'm getting it done hey Daisy who just showed up hi baby oh the wolf the wolf we're gonna have a good time in here. Yeah, okay, let me put this one up. just love the contrast of just really bright white and I'm gonna paint it white with the wood I think it looks really great it's going to look really great it looks kind of crappy right now but here's my trim boards 
and uh, gonna get started. That's a tight fit. Yes. There we go. Almost there. Walls are done. Looks good. Covered up a lot of crap. <laughs> so now I'm gonna break out the, uh, I've got some Danish, Danish oil here. This is what I'm gonna use to uh, seal this tongue and groove. This is what we've used on all of our log houses. And it, it, this stuff is just really great. It's just a natural, I just want it to still look like the, the blonde colored wood, so. Beautiful, beautiful, I love it. I love it. I'm done. Just enough room for trim. got these little spacers they're just these little pieces of pipe that's gonna set off the wall right here like that I'm gonna screw that in what it is is it leaves a nice gap and it's gonna be it's gonna form the heat shield so yeah let's put the other one in Done. Yes. I did okay on that cut. <laughs> that was a little tricky one. So what I'm doing now is putting in some pavers just for right now and uh, that's gonna be the base for the stove next summer when it's warm I'll probably pour a hearth for it but it's too cold right now oh these legs Yay, the door is back on. I can do a fire now. Dry it out, warm it up, finish this floor. No, 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 no. No, Maisie. Stay out. Oh, she wants in, I know, but I gotta get this floor finished before the wolf comes in. The wolf knows the good spots to be. What is on my sock? Nice. Okay, good.
Okay, that's all she wrote. Gonna let it dry and I can start moving stuff in. Yeah, yeah. It's nice and warm in there. I'm gonna close the door. See you tomorrow, cabin. Yes. Well, guys, here it is. Here is the finished cabin. And I'm so excited to show you. Yes, here it all is. <laughs> ah, it's so awesome. So this is my bench. It's a caribou covered just storage bench and I need extra storage in here. So I went ahead and used a storage bench for the table right here. Now the table is one of the features I like a lot because it folds down this tiny space needed a fold down table. So let me show you what I did. So with this table, it can totally fold under and be right against the wall. Then you could totally slide this bench back and be good to go with, with more room in here for, you know, sleeping and getting a cot out or something. So that was, that was something cool I really wanted to do and was happy that worked out. So I just love to swing and uh, I love my hammock chairs. I got one this summer and had it in the backyard and I just absolutely loved it. And then I've got a hanging chair in our house. So if you guys remember the debate that Dave and I had when we built this place was I wanted a place for my, for my swing and chair. And we had initially thought about hanging it from the ceiling, but I found this one for sale and I thought, you know what, this will work out good. And that way, if I don't want it in the future, if I don't want it in here, I don't have a hole in the ceiling with a hook. So this is our compromise. <laughs> it was gonna work out just fine, but uh, we found this as a workaround. And this thing is just, it's just fantastic. It just, it just envelops you like you're, like you're in a sack of potatoes. <laughs> you're like a sack of potatoes in this thing. It is, it's so awesome. And then I can push myself and, and I can swing and, you know, I just love to be in motion. So this is basically my chair in here, but Dave found this the other night and completely fell asleep in it. <laughs> he couldn't believe how comfortable this was and that he, he said he could absolutely just sleep the night in it. So kind of cool. And it's, it's my little luxury item for in here. So, so that's my hanging chair. And over here is just a nice comfy cozy chair right next to a bookshelf and this actually does recline too but not too far ah oh, it's so nice dave came in here and immediately fell asleep on both this and then he fell asleep over there when he tried it out so super cool just a small co comfy chair for in here it's definitely needed now the floor tends to get a little chilly until you get it warmed up in here so i got slippers for in here and let me show you the wood stove because in here we wanted something quite small. I mean, it already is like roasting me out of here. Once you get it warmed up, it's like, whoo, a little too warm. I, gotta, I got the window cracked just a little bit behind me. But let me show you the stove. So this is a Camp Chef Alpine heavy duty cylinder stove. And it does come with another side grate, but because we've got it on an angle, it, it doesn't fit in there. But this is really like for a wall tent. And we, we knew that in here was just going to, you know, it's, it's 10 by 12 in here. It's going to get heated up really, really quickly. So we opted for just something really small. And I'm glad we did. I've got some heat brick in here to, uh, to absorb the heat and keep the heat in here a little bit better. But, uh, it's a great little stove for this small space. Just got a box of wood here. And then as we come around, uh, my bookshelf, very important. And then there's my hammock chair. Yeah, baby. Now this space over here I wanted to utilize as sort of like a little kitchen shelving area. So, you know, got some goodies to eat, some stuff that's just good instantly, snacks, beverages, tea, coffee, got my jug of water. And then I have an extra shelf under here for just uh, tools and other things. And then a space for your boots, garbage, and then, you know, 
the table, which could be up or down. And as you can see, this is also my editing suite here. So I'm gonna be editing this video right there in that chair here in a minute. <laughs> now this piece here is just something that I, I just love. This is from Minto, Alaska, where we fish and they have the best driftwood there. This is a diamond willow that's just been carved out by the wind and the weather and the waves. And it just makes, you know, the, the grain of the wood, it, it's spiral. And this piece happened to be just completely um, hollowed out, which I just thought was beautiful. Now my plan for the future is to hang some things from here that I, I wanna showcase in front of the window, which brings me to my feathers. Got some stained glass feathers here and they just look so pretty in the window and I just love feathers, so. Here's my cuxa that I carved from a uh, maple burl. That was one of my tougher carves because it was hardwood, but it's a pretty good cup. I'm going to back off and show you just what this looks like from over here. There's my hanging chair, my hammock chair, and I might end up painting, I'm thinking about painting something on this side of the door too. You guys know I got the sloth on the other side, right? Did you see the sloth? There he is. To remind me to come in here and, and just chill and hang out. <laughs> so I don't know. I might... I might paint something on this side too. I just haven't decided yet. But I wanted to keep it really, really simple in here. Just really clean and uh, really inspiring space to be creative. So, um, of course I got my bird feeders and this amazing, amazing view. Just, just fantastic. Been seeing a big, big flock of turkeys coming through here. And uh, deer are always up here, fox. And I think the wolf. Yeah, the wolf is right there. She's on guard, looking over the woods. She uh, gets too hot in here. Now the next thing I need to do is I'm gonna try to find a nice little dog bed for her right here so she can come and be cozy. So far she kinda would rather be outside until it gets nighttime and she's tired. She wants to be outside surveying, you know, the land and keeping us safe. Keeping, keeping us safe. Now, of course, this table is just going to be so handy. Got my my antler chandelier. And if you guys want to know how to make that, I'll put the link below. I've got a link on how I made that. But I, I'm just such a fan of beeswax. I didn't make this one, though. It's it's very beautiful. And it just they just smell so good and last so long. And then this is amazing. My son made me these for Christmas. He's such an artist. He's so good. He's only 15. He cranks out paintings and drawings and he does sculpture, but he did all of our cats. So this is Roy, that's Hobie, that's Edna, and that's Squidgy. And they're all in like their classic poses. <laughs> and I, they just make me so happy. So I had to put them in here on the shelf to enjoy. What? The wolf finally came in. Yes, she came in to say hi. Coat rack hooks here to come in and hang your coat. And then there is one over here too, in case been outside being snowy, you can hang something there by the stove and get it dried out. But that's about it. It's all done. Woohoo! So that's it guys, that's the tour. <laughs> Goes pretty quickly in a 10 by 12 building, but uh, I think it turned out really great. I'd love to hear your comments below. And if, and if you've missed any other parts of this series, the building part, I'll put the links to those videos below. It's in a playlist, so. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. I appreciate it. Thanks for being my subs. And I'll see you in the next one. This is Girl in the Woods. She gone. Oh, don't forget to get outside and get happy. I don't cry when it rains no more. Or I get dirt on my shoes. I don't mind climbing eight more floors. Cause these stairs are all headed.